So it was my sophomore year, and I was like, hey, I'm gonna go to the golf course to like get some practice in. Next thing I know, I'm in like the ambulance. I get him get like a CT scan, and then a nurse came in my room and said, there's something in my, my head. And I was like, what does that mean? <laughs> when I found out that the tumor was cancerous, I just remember getting like really, being really angry. It's okay to be mad and it's okay to yell and it's okay to just get angry at stuff because it's annoying. It's really, it was really, really frustrating. You should allow your emotions to go through, like cry and get mad. I didn't like just bottle it up. I just got angry. In order to like attack it really aggressively, they wanted me to, to take the chemo pills and start proton therapy at the same time. And then because I guess the way my tumor, the cancerous cells, it mashed up a really good immunotherapy trial in Pittsburgh. I was taking the drug Keytruda. So what like immunotherapy does, it pokes a hole in that cancer force field. So then like your your body can just kill it. It's all about like your body actually killing off the cancer, not like a manufactured drug like chemo or like proton. I had a really, really good support system. After I went down on the golf course, I actually was then diagnosed with seizure, so I couldn't drive anywhere. So my mom drove me back to school and drove me all the places I needed to be. It was pretty cool what my school did. I guess they put together like a walkathon to like support me, which was pretty cool. During my trial with Pittsburgh, they were always excited about my story because when you remove a tumor, it leaves a hole. Whatever that was holding the hole open, like a collapse on itself. It's just so rare for like really, really good stories like mine where like the whole collapse on itself. And I think it's just good to just have some positivity in the cancer world and some hope. I think that's why I'm sharing my story. I'm still cancer clear. I graduated last year from Notre Dame College in 2023, and I'm currently working for the Cleveland Guardians. So it's pretty exciting. <laughs>